two angles are said to be supplementary if their sum is 180 degrees. Looking at the diagram below, this angle and this angle are supplementary because the sum of their measures equals 180 degrees. This also means if we put the two angles together, they would form a straight angle. So suppose you have two supplementary angles, such that the larger angle is three degrees less than three times the measure of the smaller angle. We're asked to find the measure of the angles. So let's first let the smaller angle have a measure of x degrees. And now the larger angle is 30 degrees less than three times the measure of the smaller angle, which has a measure of x degrees. And therefore, the expression for the larger angle would be 30 less than three times x. Well, three times x would be three x, but we want 30 less than three x, and therefore, the expression for the larger angle would be three x minus 30, and the units are degrees. So the second angle is 30 degrees less than three times the measure of the first angle. And now because the angles are supplementary, we can write an equation, solve for x, then determine the measure of both angles. When writing the equation, though, we'll leave the units off, and therefore the equation would be x plus 3x minus 30 must equal 180, again because the two angles are supplementary. And now solving for x, the first step is to simplify the left side. So x plus 3x, or 1x plus 3x is 4x. So we have 4x minus 30 equals 180. Next step, we isolate the x term by undoing the subtraction. So we add 30 to both sides. Simplifying, adding 30 undoes minus 30, or negative 30 plus 30 is 0. So we have 4x equals 180 plus 30 is 210. 4x means 4 times x. So our last step is to undo this multiplication and solve for x by dividing both sides by 4. Simplifying, dividing by 4 undoes multiplying by 4, or 4 divided by 4 is equal to 1. 1 times x is x equals 210 divided by 4 is equal to 52.5. So because x equals 52.5, we now know the smaller angle measures 52.5 degrees, and the larger angle has a measure of 3 times 52.5 minus 30 degrees, which would be equal to 3 times 52.5 is equal to 157.5, and then minus 30, which would give us 127.5 degrees for the larger angle. Notice how the angles are supplementary, because 52.5 degrees plus 127.5 degrees does equal 180 degrees. I hope you found this helpful.